Welcome to the State Farm Post Game Show. If you didn't believe in Christmas miracles before, it is a miracle someone won that game. Someone scored <laughs> three nothing. Minnesota gets the win. They stay in the playoff picture. More on that in a moment. But right now, it's Seattle without Geno Smith at San Francisco. You know, not playing his football game. Brock Purdy is playing, setting up beautiful thrown ball. Just absolutely great timing on deep balls. Deep ball semi there with a 54-yard touchdown, 14 to 10. 49ers over the Seattle Seahawks and 49ers going to win this game 28 to 16. A career high for Brock Purdy in passing yards, 527 total yards for the 49ers on offense. And afterwards, Aaron Andrews spoke with a hero that we usually don't hear from, the left tackle Trent Williams. All right, Big Trent. Uh, over 500 total yards of offense today. I thought I'd give an offensive lineman some love. Can you give me an idea of just what it feels like playing on an offense with so many options, so many weapons? Uh, it, it's amazing. It's amazing. Uh, Kyle does a great job mixing it up, keeping those guys in advantageous um, positions. And, um, you know, he, he keeps the offense cohesive, nice and balanced. And um, it makes it easy for us. Yeah, well, I'll tell you what you make easy is Christian McCaffrey running to the left side. Okay, first of all, that look. Brock Purdy telling me this week, you create this alley for McCaffrey. You make 6'7", six, 6'8", six, beasts look like high schoolers. What does it feel like over there on that left side? Uh, I'm just trying to do my job, man. And uh, anytime coach called to run left, I feel obligated to, to, to open up some lanes. You know, I feel like... I'm, that's no different than a wide receiver getting a target, in my opinion. Um, you know, so when he called run left, you know, I know I got we got a dynamic back. All you got to do is give him a crease and he'll make him pay. Another huge game for Brock Purdy, Trent. Still, we're arguing about this guy getting the respect. What do you have to say about the way he's played for you guys? Just turn on film. Turn on film. Um, you know, a lot of people talk and, and words are what they are, but, you know, actions prove it. You know, turn on the film. Watch this kid, watch him play, watch his command of the offense, watch his decision making. And then if you t if you say that he's just a successful quarterback after that, then I question your football knowledge. And we're not questioning you at all. You're the man. Thanks so much, Trent, for the time. No Appreciate you. Good to see you. Good to see you. <laughs> Terry, I got a fun fact for you. What Trent you Williams was in the same draft class as myself. I am retired. I'm on, my, I'm on my third year of retirement. He's still going, and he may be the best player in the NFL. Well, I think I th you, Kurt actually had the best one. He said he might be the – is the best player because at left tackle, it's unheard of that he could be considered the best player. But you cannot play left tackle for 20 years in this league and not be something extra special. Well, right now we know who the best teams are going in the late games. We'll have more on the early games in a bit right now. I was going to say the best team in the AFC, record-wise, the Baltimore Ravens, and they won on an overtime punt return. Nice job here by Tylen Wallace. Comes inside, takes the punt return. Goes down almost three times on this punt return. Eventually takes it in, 76 yards. And what a way to win a football game. Special teams in overtime. John Harbaugh, what was he? Special teams, special teams coach with the Eagles coach. before. They are now 10-3, and three, number one seed in the AFC as we stand. So why don't we get a peek inside their winning locker room? If you just come out every day and just have a, a smile on your face, a high spirit, and work as hard as you possibly could, be a great teammate, be there for everybody else, be called upon when your number gets called. He was tackled like four different times! <laughs> but he wasn't! Tyler Wallace. Yeah. Nice. All right, earlier today, the Bears upset the Lions, who have now lost two of three. Cleveland gets a win. The Bengals win their second straight with Jake Browning. The Jets crush the Houston Texans, who also lost C.J. Stroud to a concussion in that one. The Saints get back to their winning ways, and the Falcons lose to the Bucks. So the Bucks are in first place in the NFC South. And here's an up to the second picture in the AFC playoffs right now, pending the outcome of that Chiefs-Buffalo game. And also, in the NFC right now, a lot of people are waiting to see what happens between the Eagles and Cowboys this evening. Depending on the outcome of that game, if the Cowboys win, the 49ers could be the number one seed in all the NFC by the end of the night. All right, let's wrap up here. Week 14. Bingo. With you, Grunk. 
Mm. Ask me anything. Come okay. On, ask me a question. Is this Start Reddit? What are we doing I don't right have now? Anything right now. So come <laughs> on. What impressed you the most today? Uh, I would say the Baltimore Ravens. They're a championship team. They're the best team in the AFC, hands down. And if you win a game like the one today, that means you're at a championship level. And they won as a team. Odell Beckham Jr., they used Zay Flowers, they used a backup tight end, Isaiah Likely. And that's how you win games. Their defense came through when they needed to. They're going to have a deep playoff run. Uh, I think the 49ers sent a good message today, especially with the Eagles Cowboys getting ready to play tonight. 49ers, awesome. Offensive, defense, and they take care of division games when they go ahead and swept Seattle this year. 49ers for me. We could be headed towards a 49er Raven Super Bowl rematch. Ooh. And that was a great game. What about the Ravens? That's what I said. That's what oh, he said. Man. Where you been? I don't know. <laughs> we'll see you next week. Oh man, it's been a long day. <laughs> <laughs> for watching this presentation of the National Football League. For NFL news and highlights, go to NFL.com.